Hello, Virgo. We are going to see what's going on in your energetic field. Let's see. And keep in mind, energies can be vice versa. All right. Well, Virgo, uh, it looks like someone has possibly entered your energetic field and they are attached to you. Hmm. It does look like they, they're already attached to you. Wow. Wow. So you have the Nine of Swords, Three of Wands. Um, goodness. Uh, it does look like I think you, you might have gay, given someone easy access to attach to you somehow. Mm. Oh my, see? This is my demon card. Mm. So, if you find yourself really stressing out right now, worried, having anxiety, um, I mean, this is probably why. Wow. Wow. I haven't seen one like this. I don't think ever. Ever. Hmm. So, if you're suffering from anxiety or stress or worry or, you know, you, you can't get something off of your mind, you feel like you're going insane or... You know, you could be having like migraines, headaches. I'm telling you, it looks like someone. See how, see how attached they are to you? Hmm. Let me get a little bit more. I've got chill bumps. I've never seen, um, So, I don't even use these by the meanings, but I will say it. Uh, Six of Pentacles, which you might as well just count that out. I don't use these like that. See, I'm telling you, someone is, wow, attached to you. And, you know, they're not a very good, good energy. You have the moon at the bottom. Um, hmm. So, you know, you may need to, um, to do some type of, you know, like spiritual bath or whatever, pray, I, I pray, um, but it does look like, I don't know. So if you're, if you're just feeling super stressed out, super worried, you know, anxiety, stress, um, like aggravated, you just want to. You know what I mean? Your your temper could be a little off. You just, wow. Um, so I would pray to God, ask for protection. Um, you know, 
you could take a like a, a salt bath or something and get in there but have intention when you do this like you know blow out all of the negative energy and take back your light from from anyone and everyone and really do that um for a little while and just relax and you know give it about a day and i'm i promise you uh whatever this is it will flee from you wow um Okay, I want to do one, one more. Let's see, Virgo. See, someone reconciled. I feel like you reconciled with someone, possibly. But they possibly give you, you know, anxiety or stress or... Let's see, Virgo. You have victory. I'm telling you, they did it. Whoever this, this negative energy is, they have successfully attached their energy with yours. Wow. And you have surprise. I love these cards. They're kind of funny to me. Or they're, or they're really going to try to. And they did it by flattering you, okay? Um, this card's funny. This is them and that's you. You're just not even paying attention, but they're, they're really looking at you. Okay, one more. You do have enemy. This is you, I feel. This is them. It's like they were sitting here waiting for the perfect time. Could simply just be by texting you, communicating with you. You know, it's that easy to um, to get you back. Um, just to get you back. Could be an angry woman. <laughs> Maybe this... So either... You know, you could just feel agitated right now, or maybe this person is like an angry person. They, they have a bad temper. Um, I mean, this woman could have dark hair, brown hair. They don't have to. Um, huh. Maybe it's someone that you fight and argue with all the time. I don't know. Um, that's kind of crazy. You know what? Let's, let me do a little bit more and then I'll be done. All right, Virgo. Let me, okay, I'm going to get some advice for you about this person. Or whatever this is now. I mean, it, it could be anything. It could be somebody at work that just aggravates you. Who knows? Um, all right, let's get some advice for Virgo. One more. Okay, what's some advice for Virgo about this negative attachment? Page of Cups, and Eight of Pentacles. Whoops, Nine of Pentacles. You know, um, it looks like, hold on, so what is some advice? Oh, wow. So you have Emperor, um, you have the Three of Swords here. 
you know, this is some advice. I think there's someone around you that, that's very jealous or something like that. I think you just need to focus. Your advice is to focus on self-love and not being um, dependent, you know, on other people to make you happy. But I feel like you, you probably fight and argue or something a lot with this person. I think maybe this person's very jealous or... Hmm. Or it could be you, Virgo, you know, whichever, whichever way. Um, oh, then you have judgment. So I do feel like it's someone that maybe you've reconciled with or something like that. I feel like this person, I think you may have to just, you may have to let this person go. And this does look like maybe you're, I don't know, maybe you're choosing your family. You're choosing, I don't know. I don't know if you're, you know, in a, married in a relationship, but I just feel like there could be some jealousy or something and, and it causes a lot of fussing and fighting or something like that. But anyway, the advice is self-love, you know, love yourself first. Um. So, so yeah, I don't know if someone, um, maybe someone's married, they have a family and then someone's cheating and then I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You know, that would be up to you, but I can kind of see it both ways or maybe you just, you reconciled with someone and it, it just causes a lot of issues, problems. Um, maybe you got called up or something or the other person, I don't know, but anyway, Focus on self-love, um, and that's what I have for you, Virgo. See you in the next one.